Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up a ticket server on your Multicraft control panel. Um, so what you'll need is a VPS with root access. So let's get started. Um, first thing first, uh, you're going to have to have an admin account on your Multicraft control panel. Uh, so you're going to navigate to servers and you're going to create a new server. Uh, the server name being ticket um, you can leave everything else blank um, but you need to tick owner selectable jar and show advanced options and you can change the name of the base directory and for the purpose of the tutorial I will name it ticket and look for jars in server jar dictionary or server base directory um, the difference is server jar directory is um, so go to your server and then look inside a folder called jar located in your server directory um, but for things like ticket and hexic it's best to use base directory uh, so yeah and we're going to click create so it's going to create the server now Okay, so now that it's done, we're going to navigate to um, where Multicraft should be installed. So, servers, hexic, oh my, my bad, ticket. <coughs> um, so, as you see, right now I've uh, navigated into the ticket directory. So, the one we. Um, labeled earlier as the base directory uh, so it should be empty um, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the server files for ticket so we're going to navigate to this site we're going to copy the link and we're going to run the command we get and we're going to just download the zip file and we're going to unzip the zip file so it's ticket server zip okay so now most of the important files have been unzipped um, you can go ahead and remove launch.bat and launch.sh because they are not needed so launch.bat launch.sh Okay, so now what you want to do is if you see here uh, MC11, MC11, you see root, root. It's because I'm currently working on root access. Um, a lot of people say this is a not a good idea, but uh, to make things simpler, you can work on root access and change the user and permissions, uh, user and group permissions. Um, yeah, so MC11, MC11. This is the user, this is the group. So, what we're going to do now is to change the all the files in this folder into user MC11 and group MC11. So, now we're going to select all the files in this folder uh, MC11. Remember, it must be a capital. And then we're going to do libraries. We're going to do Minecraft server dot jar. The mods folder. Server properties. And the ticket dot jar. Now we're going to change the file permissions, so the console can um the Multicraft panel can. Um, change the files. So what we're going to do is chmod minus capital R seven seven zero. Um, the Minecraft server file. 
the server.properties file and the ticket.jar file. Now if you see here, everything should be fine and good to go. So we're going to come back over to our panel and over here in the jar file, we're going to change it to ticket.jar. Remember to scroll down to the bottom and save. Then we're going to start the server and it should be loading as you see here. So basically once this is done um, you'll see extra files generated. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back once the loading is done. Okay now the server's done loading as you see here it says startup done. So now if we check our folder we will see all these files generated so basically that's it um, that's basically how to get ticket onto your multicraft control panel um, so yeah please uh, rate comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye